Hi, I'm back with a pick a card reading uh, for all my subscribers on YouTube. Uh, so today we have two shells, okay? Uh, pile one, pile two. Pause the video if you need to and pick your pile, okay? Sometimes both piles may have messages for you. Uh, use your intuition. Only take those messages which are for you, which feel like they are for you, okay? So I will start with pile one, okay? I'll start with pile one. Okay, first I'm going to channel some messages. What is a pile that picked this shell, the collective that picked this shell? What do they need to know? You're on the path to success, okay? You're on the path to success. This success for some can be overnight or can appear like it's overnight to people in your family, to your friends, they'll be like, oh, but she just started doing this. How come suddenly, right? But for some of you, you have done the work, a lot of work, and you're here, okay? So congratulations. Some of you are starting something new or planning to start something new that will lead to a lot of abundance, okay? There's a need to increase your uh, confidence. There's a need to work on your solar plexus and your sacral chakra because I am sensing a little bit of a creative block for the people who pick the, this shell, okay? Um, you have a lot of depth to you. You are someone who thinks everything through. Um, you you're, you're someone who deeply reflects, okay? I'm feeling an energy of deep reflection, okay? You don't, um, you usually take everybody's advice, but in the end, you only do what you want. You're one of those, okay? Um, nothing good, nothing bad. I'm just telling you <laughs> what I'm receiving from that shell, okay? What is a collective who picked this crisp, this uh, shell? What do you need to know? Fun times are ahead for you. I see you heading somewhere beautiful. I see you heading somewhere to a place you haven't been before. And you are going to love that place. You're going to feel a strong connection to that place. Maybe because you were part of that tribe or that community um, in one of your past lifetimes I'm getting. So you will feel like, wow, I'm home, you know. Uh, the weather may not be what you like. The It may seemingly look like, I don't know, I don't like the weather. I don't like particularly like anything, but I don't know why I feel this love for this place. I don't know why I feel so much at home. So that's, you're going to feel like you got a slice of home when you go to this place. There's a need to plan your life better or plan your day better, okay? Some things work better when they're impulsive decisions like, oh, I'm suddenly going to do this and they work out. But most of the things in life that especially are related to success, especially related to things that you like, care about, that you want to build, they need planning, okay? So you can't have an unstructured day and expect to have a structured output out of an unstructured day. Like if you want to have a thousand new clients, okay, and I God willing, I hope, and universe willing, I hope you get that, uh, then you must do the work that is required to get these thousand clients. Don't just um, live your life like on a whim or a fancy because I think you let the day control you or your mood control you, which is nice. I also love to live like that, free-spirited and all that, but... Here, to get some of your dreams to take off in this year, you must bring in more of a stronger foundation. You must weed out the distractions. You must watch out for the traps that you know you will usually that you step into. Okay? All right. So now I'm done channeling. Um, like you know, like if I'm going to keep it here so you know this is your pile. Okay, sometimes you know those traps that you know, mm, after doing some work, I feel like watching Netflix and then I watch the whole season. Like, you know, the known traps, right? At least avoid them. Okay, so these are the messages from your galactic uh, tribe. Okay, from your mm, divine beings who are watching out for you, guardian angels. Okay, I felt like getting some galactic energies in here for some reason. Okay, so let's see. What does the universe your spirit guides, your ancestors, your guardian angels, your archangels, whoever you connect to, what do they have to say for you? What is the message? Play, oh my gosh, didn't I say that I felt like bringing some galactic energies in here? Pleiades, some of you may be connected to your origin is uh, a Pleiadian, you know, 
um, so you are very much connected some of you are going to connect feel a stronger connection or you're going to connect with your soul tribe who also belong to the same origin okay um, this says double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so most of you here who pick this shell are connecting with your north node okay and somehow uplifting humanity is part of your life purpose all right some of you may be channelers like me some of you may be uh, channeling through art some of you may be channeling messages through music uh, through drawing uh, through cooking right you are a channeler you channel divine light okay and or you are a light to the community or to your family or to people around you um, your job or one your purpose not a job purpose is to uplift humanity okay this is confirmation for some all right all right the second message is council of light divine orchestration help in the subtle realm so you are being guided okay you are being protected you are meant to get on a spiritual path of some kind here okay you are meant to be a source of light source of inspiration for others and you are being definitely guided by the higher realms here i'm so happy i took these cards i usually don't use that deck but today, for some reason, I said, you know what, Deepa, take it out. I'm so glad. So this is confirmation for some that definitely there is higher guidance coming in for you. You are definitely divinely guided and protected. All right. Just because I said protected doesn't mean you make foolish mistakes. All right. You still have to do the things that you have to do and not do the things you shouldn't do. All right. So now I'm getting on to this. The high priestess. Wow. The lovers. The hangman, give me a minute with this. Um, you're pausing. Some of you have been experiencing a pause in your spiritual journey or in your job or in your money. In many areas of your life, you have been experiencing a pause. Okay, things have not been um, flowing in your reality as effortlessly as they once did. For some, they never did. For some, you never found that flow of abundance. And it almost feels like every time you want to do something, you get stuck in indecision. Okay, because this card just says indecision to me. Uh, big time. Okay, so you tend to be indes indecisive. I'm covering it because I don't know. I don't know what um, YouTube thinks about that card. So, um, But we know. Okay, so there's a, a, the high priestess and the hangman. There's a need for self-reflection. There's a need for deeper inner work here. Okay, if you are about to embark on something new, journal on it first. Meditate on it. Before you take any action, the universe is saying, call on us. We will guide you. And you are definitely connected and guided. Okay, uh, you may not receive the messages as clearly sometimes because your crown chakra does feel a little blocked to me. Uh, because you are overthinking and you're distracting yourself with things that don't really matter. But for those who have, the, if you work on your crown chakra, this connection will improve. For those who are already connected, your spiritual gifts are going to increase. They're going to triple almost, okay? For those who do the work regularly. So don't worry about this delay. Don't worry about this moment where nothing's happening or nothing's moving. Don't worry about it because this is needed. Okay, to get in the new codes, to get in the new energies from the universe, to get in more information from the universe. This time is needed. So go within. Pretty much your whole spread is telling me that you are very spiritually open. And for those who are beginning the journey into spirituality, there's a need to meditate on your chakras and balance and heal them a little bit. Okay, I just saw 911 as I said it. Um, if there's any crisis that is seemingly, seeming crisis, like seemingly something looks like a crisis right now that is going on in your life, uh, trust the universe. The universe is going to show you the right answers. Okay? And why did I say seemingly crisis? Because you may be building something into a bigger story than it actually is. Okay? Uh, this can be a story with one of your children, this can be with your spouse, this can be with a friend. Something, a situation keeps bothering you a lot and you're giving it way too much of energy of worry, fear, anxiety. The universe is saying disconnect. Disconnect from that situation 
Easier said than done, I know, but that's the advice. Disconnect from the situation. Create a space between you and the situation to get the answers you need or the right solution, okay? The universe wants to help you. The universe wants to support you. For those who want to start a spiritual business, this is a yes card. This is a yes spread. The whole spread is yes, yes. Follow your purpose, follow your purpose, okay? The whole spread is about, is encouraging you to be the spiritual person or to share your spiritual gifts with the world, okay? Fantastic. Now I'm going to get you advice or just messages from the uh, animal spirit, okay? All right. Lay a solid foundation. What did I say? This pause is so you can build a solid foundation, all right? Rework some of the things in your life and start again. Okay, co-create with spirit. University is supporting you in all your ideas, in all your visions. Oh my gosh, you're so divinely supported and so divinely guided at this point. This pile, I'm telling you, you will get all the answers you need. You just need to sit with yourself long enough. Cut out the distractions. Cut out your ego, the fear the ego wants you to be in. Cut it all out. Cut out all the white noise. Bring it back to you. Just connect with your God, universe, spirit, goddesses, archangels, your guardian angels, whoever you believe in, council of light. You will receive all the answers. Okay? All right. Turn knowledge into wisdom and whatever you receive, turn it into wisdom. Use the past lessons to grow from them and not to repeat them again and again. Don't get caught up in the same old lessons or same old traps every single time. The universe or wolf spirit here, thank you wolf spirit, is saying, think, think big. Don't get into the same traps again. And now really it's, it's a green light from the universe to pursue your hobby, pursue your gift or share your gift with the world. Okay? Watch your words. Watch your words. This can be words to others. This can be words to yourself. Do you minimize yourself? Do you minimize your gift? Do you minimize the value you bring to your office space or to your family? Do you minimize the impact you have on others? Because I don't think you realize what a massive impact you have on other people. Okay? You are a light worker. You are a light worker whether you like it or not. Because I see that some of you don't want to be your light worker. You are resisting it. But whether you like it or not, you are a light worker. Okay? You are meant to bring relief to a lot of people in this world. You're meant to bring happiness and that energy of lightness, right? Free people from their cages, mental cages, um, right? Um, that And some of you are meant to do ancestral healing. Some of you are meant to release ancestral trauma from people. That's your work. How long are you going to shun it? Why do you ignore it is what I'm hearing. This is someone who knows what has to be done, knows that they are meant to do something new, something different but yet are not doing it because of fear of failure, fear of being seen, fear of being heard, fear of being misunderstood. That's a boo-boo you have to heal. The right people will understand you. The wrong people will always misunderstand you. Don't fear it. But at the same time, work on your throat chakra. Work on being more balanced, more calm and collected when you speak so that people can actually feel your... Uh, natural vibration which is of purity and peace when you speak and they're not getting like a rash impulsive judgmental energy from you right and if you do have that rash judgmental energy within you heal it heal it okay nobody's perfect here you, judgment lowers your vibration judgment of others and yourself lowers the vibration all right you don't need that you don't need that life is complicated enough all right, so now I'm going to move to the second pile. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. Okay, and if you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at deepastaro at gmail.com. All right, it will be a pre-recorded session. All right, okay, now let's move on to 1431, pile two. All right, pile two, the people who picked this. Shell, what do you need to know? Mm. There's a lot of cleansing that you need to do of your aura, of your auric field, of your surroundings, your home. Okay? You are carrying too much burden of others, 
the weight of others is too much on you. Maybe you're an empath and you tend to pick up the energy feelings of others. And then you, before you know it, you believe that. So if you're with someone who's sad, you pick up on it. And before you know it, you're sad. You need to work on creating healthy boundaries, okay? Because if you drown with everybody who's feeling low vibrational, you'll never make it. You can't allow yourself to get caught up in the web of others' emotions here. Because you are the light, again, even this pile has a very uh, spiritual basis today, okay? You are the light, you are meant to elevate people or heal people from their sadness or their fears, right, anxieties. But if you connect with their energies in the wrong way, in their emotions in the wrong way and don't protect yourself, you're going to take on their energies and that's going to impact you negatively. So don't take on burdens that are not yours. What is a collective who picked this shell? What do you need to know? You're at the end of a very difficult cycle. Your life has been difficult a lot the past few years. You're coming out of that. You're coming into brightness. You're coming into sunshine. You're coming into purity consciousness. Pure thought, pure speech, pure actions. Keep repeating. That's your affirmation. Connect more to purity consciousness. Okay? You may be feeling inclined to wear white or you may be connecting very strongly with the connect color white because that is because you are in the process of purging you are in the process of releasing what has been very difficult energies you may still feel the impact of these energies you are not completely done with this as in some days some in the mornings you may feel extremely happy or balanced and by the afternoon the old emotions may come up they only come up so you can they're only coming up so you can heal and release them okay so don't worry too much about it but do try to keep your aura clean. There are some lot of aura cleansing uh, uh, meditations on YouTube music. So try to work with that. Okay? Any other message? Any other messages for the people who picked this shell? Your throat chakra needs some more work, some more balance. Okay? Any upheavals you faced recently in your life were a test from the universe? of your grit, of your courage, of your determination. How determined are you? How courageous are you? They were a test. And is the testing over? It is almost over. <laughs> it is almost over, okay? One, two little, little bumps, but nothing dramatic here. You have come through the worst of a situation here. So you are, you've survived, okay? You're a survivor. But now that you have survived a very difficult cycle, there is the next transition, which is, moving from survival to thriving you don't want to just keep surviving life you want to thrive so that's the next step you're moving into a period of abundance coming in for the next six to eight months okay whatever was not coming toward you is going to now come toward you very easily new clients here they are more money in your bank account yes expected unexpected sources of income yes right Better body, better skin, better health, yes. Better friendships, that's where you need to work on. Some of your connections are outdated or you don't resonate with them anymore. But you just keep them around for some reason, right? We all do that. We all do that because we are sentimental uh, fools. <laughs> and we don't like to give up people who you once felt a connection with. But here the universe is saying gently, gently extricate yourself from things that don't resonate with you. You don't have to do some mega moves here. You don't have to be like Bruce Lee and do any mega moves here. Gently extricate yourself from things that are people that you know you've outgrown, right? Uh, you don't have to break the connection, just create a separation because you need to feel like yourself. When was the last time you felt like yourself? I think it's been a while. Because you are taking on, the, you're like a sponge and you have soaked in every energy. Most of it is not yours. Now, now that you realize that and if that resonated with you, now you have to really clear out everybody's energies, create a period of separation for you and the world if you need to for a couple of days at least so you can begin to feel like yourself so that the fresh burst of energy can hit you. And it will hit you in a beautiful way. I see you having more physical strength. I see you having more stamina. I see you having more the passion to live again. If your passion to live kind of got diluted a little bit, it's coming back. You want to now do things again. You are going to move into a highly creative 
energies here okay you are connecting with the creative flow of the universe you are connecting with the abundant money flow of the universe you are connecting is it all happening overnight no because the purging first has to happen and then the energies the good energies can take the place of the stale energies that's how it works right you know it you don't need me to tell you that okay so these two cards are the messages from your spirit team from your ancestors from your guides, from the universe, whatever you believe in, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold, awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Can you tell? I mean, come on, seriously. Seriously, what did I say? You're being tested. Rite of passage. You were being tested with whatever challenges that were being thrown at you. The universe is like, will she still trust in God, in higher forces, in the universe? Will she still have faith? She, he, right? Will you still believe in that big things and good things can happen to you and your loved ones? You were being tested. But now that period of test is over because the doorway is right there. This is the portal. Make a wish, okay? If you have a wish, this is how your brand new life will look. So what is it that you want after that? So write it down, journal it, make your wishes come true here. Manifestation, your wishes will be heard. Your wishes will be heard. So I'm going to pause for a minute while you make a wish. All right. Awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being. You are transforming. You are transforming like you never have. This is massive transformation in your mind, body, spirit, okay? You may feel like a sense of disconnection while you're going through this massive transformation. You may feel like I neither belong here nor there. I don't belong to this group. I don't belong to that group. I don't belong to the past. I'm not in the future. I'm nowhere. You may feel that energy of nowhere, you know? But out of that nowhere, you can manifest, out of that nothingness, that feelings of, I don't know, right? Not, I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know. Everything is just new. Out of that energy of, I'm not out of the old. I'm not into the new. I'm in the middle. I'm in nowhere. You will create your new life. Okay? So now that you know something is ending and you're moving away from that, start to focus more on the newness than on what is gone here in the darkness. Don't focus on the darkness. Focus on what you want to see when you walk through that. Because you're right here. You are right here. You are under the arc right now. You can either go back or you can go forward. So go forward, but first see what it is you wish to see here. Write it out. Journal. Meditate. Create that life into being. Because that life into being is this. Look at the color shift. This is what you're going into. A, a life of your dreams. Your dreams coming true. All right? Fantastic. Wow. I true. I really like that message. Okay. Now I'm moving on to this. What does the tarot have to say? Seven of Swords. Three of Wands. Page of Pentacles. This screams online presence. I just saw two, three, three, three as I said it. You're divinely protected. All your dreams are protected. Can you just show up? Can you just be brave enough to show up? Okay? That's what the universe is asking. Put yourself out there. Some of you are meant to be content creators. Okay? Some of you are meant to show people a new way of being, a new way of doing things. Because you have gone through a, you are moving through a personal transformation. You'll be able to show others how to do it. And you're meant to do it. Some of you, there is still a little bit of instability in your auric field. This may be you, this may be someone around you who's still emotionally all over the place. Okay, this situation will resolve itself very soon, as early as in two to three weeks. This situation will be resolved. All right, fantastic. So you're meant to do something big. You're meant to share your, your the way you look at life with the world. You're meant to share your success story with the world. Okay, this is how I was in darkness. This is how I came out. What all the things you did to come out? How, how did you become the leader? Some of you are meant to be leaders. Some of you are meant to be the leaders in something. 
okay you're meant to be this because i'm almost seeing this guy as the guy who's sharing his wisdom and all the people watching him and listening to him some of you are going to connect with million dollars oh my gosh i wanted to say million people but i million dollars came out so from my mouth to god's ears you're going to connect with a lot of people you're going to influence a lot of people in different walks of life in different stages of life you may even help you may help teenagers you may help you know the, the youth and then you may help the middle aged like different walks of life people are going to listen to you why because your journey has been so difficult it has been so chaotic that you have learned a lot of wisdom so i'm feeling the energy of a spiritual guru big time you don't have to be just that this can be an area that this can be an expertise in an any area of your life you have been through enough cycles in any field in the field you have chosen and now you are in a position to share that to others how to do it like educational videos or things like that okay some of you are meant to be life coaches but there is some kind of a healing you have to do before you become a life coach that's a journey that's coming later for you some of you are meant to be podcasters some of you are meant to be singers healers artists musicians okay writers all right that's what i'm channeling with this group all right okay so now i'll take the animal cards to see what the animal spirit have for you all right okay the first card watch and wait watch and wait see her spirit the abundant universe will provide thank you so much thank you embrace the in between didn't i say you are in between or was it pile one you're coming out of the old you're not into the new 100% but there is abundance you're definitely moving towards abundance you're definitely overcoming challenges and the see her spirit is saying watch and wait you haven't seen the miracles yet the miracles are yet to come they are on the horizon once you walk through the portal you will get here okay beautiful beautiful thank you animals believe in yourself so what is missing here is the belief in yourself and also belief in god and universe so have that faith continue to have the faith continue to have the uh the energy that yes i'm going to make it this situation is going to brought up if a situation is bothering you this situation is working out in the highest good of everyone right everything always works out in my favor everything always works out in my favor i want you to use these affirmations time for a beginner mind do you want to learn something new adapt uh, adopt the beginner mind some of you are going to approach the same old but with fresh energy and say okay i don't know anything i'm going to put everything uh, that i know um, away and i'm going to act like i don't know anything and starting fresh again okay starting fresh some of you are going to start a new venture what is this new venture going to be about art and food <laughs> art and food okay maybe a food blogger i don't know that will bring you abundance you are someone who's a good so you write a story with your food and people buy the story and then they buy the food it's like that energy i'm getting okay fantastic 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 you are so blessed you are so blessed we are all so blessed okay to be in this age right where we have clean water right high speed internet most of us right and we have all this uh, like wonderful uh, inspiring people that we can get on the internet and know about right like if you want if you're curious about anybody you just have to go and read about them it's available everything on the internet right i mean we have we have we are so blessed we have all the answers we need at our fingertips we just have to see that we are abundantly uh, blessed that way and make use of the opportunities that we have right so that's the message all right i'm going to let you go now um i hope that this reading helped you get clarity and healing and motivation to work on your uh, dreams okay because that that's the intention i set i want to motivate people to come out of their um dull lethargic energies and take action that's really the purpose of why i'm doing so many videos all of a sudden because i feel like all of us need a little bit of a push 
okay little bit of an encouragement right so that's it so please like share subscribe if you like this video and uh, connect with me send me a um, email me at deepastaro at gmail.com if you wish to book a reading with me okay take care be well